Hello everyone, this is Lamin Sane of CodeLogical and welcome to the second video of this tutorial series which is Ember.js Simple Shopping Cart System. So if you remember from the first video, um, all we had was the list of products on our homepage. So I'll show you what we had. So here we are on the homepage and when I refresh, uh, we'll still have just the uh, um, products coming in from the fixture adapters. So in this video, what we want to make is that we want to be able to link to um, each of these products dedicated pages. So we'll make these um, names as links. And when you click on one of them, you'll be taken to that specific products page and more details about the description and the pricing will be shown to you. Okay, so let's dive in and start coding. Okay, so here we are. First thing we need to do is create a route because we need to be able to know um, what um, route or page we want to navigate to so in this case let's just say this dot route uh, and then we'll just create uh, give it a name called product this is a single product and the path will be um, product slash um, since we need the ID of which product we are navigating to we'll just create a dynamic segment product underscore ID okay and um, I did cover dynamic segments in my previous series. So just have a look at the playlist I have in my channel and um, there should be something about dynamic segments there. Okay. So next, what we need to do is create a template for this product um, dynamic segment or that page. So let's go in our index.html um, and do that. So we'll just create a script and the type will be text and x handlebars. Text slash x handlebars. And it has to have an ID that matches that um, route name. So in this case, we'll just say product. And inside of it, um, we'll just list the details of the product. So since the product has a title or name, um, we'll just show the name. And next, what we'll do is um, we'll show the description. And let's change the label as well. Last but not the least is the price of the product. Um, so if this was a real application, this is where you'd put something like dollar sign or the pound sign. So in this case, I'll just leave the pound sign there. Um, so just say price. Okay, uh, next, um, let's just change this now to um, link to that product page. So since this is our index template, um, we need to be able to click on one product and be taken to that product page. Okay, so let's just create a link to helper here. Link to. And what do we want to? We want to link to the product route. So we'll just say product. And we have to pass it a model. And in this case, we'll just pass it a single product. Remember, in this loop, anytime um, we iterate at that current instance, we have access to a single product. So we'll just have to pass that in. So let's just close the link to helper. Okay. And this part is just a nice to have, it's not necessary, but I just want to have um, an area. Let me just show you what I mean. So you see at this top part here, I just wanna create a, a link there that anytime, anywhere we are in our application, we should be able to click that and be taken to the homepage. So it will be shown um, the list of products. It's just a little sh nice shortcut to have, not necessary, but we'll put it there. And we'll change the title as well to say, welcome to MIJS shopping site. All right, um, so we'll just say link to, and what we want to link to, we want to link to the index um, route, which is created automatically by Ember for us. So we'll just say products as the um, text for that helper. And we just close the link to helper here, okay? So now we should, when we refresh this page, um, we should have a list of, um, products being shown here and then when we click on them we should be taken to that product page everything works fine so well, let's refresh as you can see we have the products um, link here at the top and when I hover over these um, things here products you should see the ID being reflected at the bottom of the browser window and when I click on Xbox 360 we're taken to that um, products page and more details are shown about our product like the title description and the price Okay, so we can click on this products here and we take it to the home page and I click on PlayStation 3 as well and more details about that is shown. So when I click on play PS3, um, shows us more stuff about that. Okay, 
So that's it guys for this tutorial video. I hope it was helpful and if you have any questions please do let me know in the comments below and thanks for watching. I shall see you soon. Bye bye.